clearly this bedrock is in the wrong place. We need to remove it. And today we're gonna to start doing that. Charlie, how are we gonna do that? Well, we really had two choices. We could either drill and blast or use an excavator with a hammer on it. We chose to use an excavator with a hammer on it opposed to drilling and blasting. And we didn't drill and blast for one main reason. We'd have to get all the houses within 250 feet have a pre-blast survey done. And that entails a company coming in and documenting any crack on your foundation you might have, crack in your plaster, something off of the door, a cabinet might be out of line. So they have to really record all of that, write a report with pictures. That sounds completely overwhelming. It does, and you know, in, in the amount of ledge that we're taking out of here, using an excavator with a hammer on it really, really will get the job done. Right here is the corner of the garage. Mm -hmm. This is probably the, the level of the garage floor. So we're going to have a, a wall here. We're going to go down about four feet below the earth here and pin our uh, new footings and foundation to the ledge. Okay. And across the whole, and this is the front of our garage right here, and we carry that same line down for the depths. We're probably going around three or four feet here. And we don't have to go down too far below the frost line because we get to pin to the ledge here. All right, so, so we don't have to remove that much here, but just enough to get the foundation in. Correct, and the side of the garage falls this orange spray line all the way to this point here, which is the back corner of the garage. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna carry that same line hammering down the ledge to set our footings in to the ledge. Okay. And Jen, you're actually standing in the middle of the mud room right here. And in the mud room, I actually wanna go down about three feet clear space finish for our mechanicals to fit. All right, well, let's get this process started. I cannot wait to let's, see it. Let's go. Charlie, this thing is a beast. It is. This is our excavator where normally you would see a bucket on the end, but this is where we have our hammer. And these are our hydraulic lines that feed a reservoir of hydraulic fluid that gets pressurized and drives a piston that drives our point. Gives us pinpoint accuracy to okay. do whatever we have to do and put the pressure right on it. That's so awesome. Let's get this started. Let's go. So we hammered the ledge down to where we need to be, and as you can see, the outline of our garage is starting to be formed. Right, now the garage is gonna be 24 by 24. It's got, this side of the foundation is gonna sit on the ledge. Over here, we had to come down and follow the slope of the ledge, and we're at the low point down there to be below our frost line. You dig down, you put a stone in there, you level the base for the dirt, then you put your farms in place, and then you pour your concrete. Because of the slope of the land, we have to put a series of dams in. So we have a, one dam there. As we turn around the corner, we come around, you can see there's another dam. And that is so that the foundation will sit on an, a stepped footing, but the top of the wall will be level. That's right, and to secure the footings to the ledge, we're gonna drill it and install rebar into the ledge. But this will also help the footing from sliding on the ledge. Right, you don't want it to move because of the hill going down. To drill holes, we're going to drill holes into the ledge itself, and they're going to be actually bigger than the diameter of this rebar, because when you put it in the hole, you want to have epoxy in there, and that's going to glue it in place. All right, so you can see that that hole is bigger than the rebar, and that will make room for the epoxy. And they'll fill that right up. All right, so you can see the epoxy coming up inside the hole there. Yeah, it's right up there. So now before the epoxy sets, and it's gonna set pretty quick, on a cool day like this, it sets a little slower. Now I just push it right into the wet epoxy, and then we'll do the next one. All right, so the dowels are into the ledge with the epoxy. Next thing is we have to run horizontal rebar, three pieces across here like that, and we're actually wiring them to that. They want to be in about the lower third 
of the poor. That's the, that's the weakest part, so we want to make sure it's reinforced. All right, so that's going to be wrapped there in the bottom of the footing will be these three pieces of rebar. Now to hold the forms from blowing out from the weight of the concrete, I'm gonna use this strap right here, slide it underneath the, form, the forms, and then we'll bend it up on the sides. Oh, pull it tight, pull it, pull it tight. There you go. Nail that in there. Now that takes a care of the bottom, and these two by fours, we'll run a series of these across the top, nailing in from one side to the other, and that will stop the form from blowing out from the weight of the concrete. Yep. And once we have all the forms set, we have concrete hopefully coming tomorrow afternoon. That'll be great. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.